Hello, this is Brian Rosner with Biomed Publishing Group. And understanding how much of a Herxheimer reaction you want is sort of like balancing a bottle of supplements on your head, like I'm doing now. Too much Herx reaction, and the body can really go into an inflammation mode, and you can even do permanent damage to yourself. Um, too much of a Herx reaction, too much antibiotics, or too much antibacterial treatment really doesn't do you very much good. In uh, Dr. Ken Singleton's new book, The Lyme Disease Solution, he talks about the inflammation cycle sort of like a tide uh, going out and coming in on the ocean. And when the tide is out, that's when uh, you know the water's low and people are playing on the beach and uh, the sand is getting all messed up. And then when the water comes in, that's when uh, the body cleans itself up and uh, the beach goes back to being uh, smoothed over and ready for the next day. And this cycle of inflammation and then uh, uh, healing where there isn't as much inflammation is sort of what you want to go for with the Herx reaction. You want um, just enough inflammation and uh, just enough of a Herx reaction that uh, bacteria is being killed and the immune system is being activated. But you also want enough periods of time where there isn't any inflammation uh, so that the body can recover. Now, there are some people out there, uh, doctors and, and patients both, who would say that um, Herx reactions aren't necessary to get well, or if they are necessary, they only happen in the first part of Lyme disease treatment, um, and then they stop. And I completely disagree with this. I think that Herx reactions need to be happening throughout the entire Lyme disease recovery process, but um, they also need to be controlled and uh, induced in moderation. Now, the reason that I think that they need to be uh, occurring throughout the whole recovery process is it just doesn't make sense for um, Herx reactions not to be happening when you're killing bacteria. Killing bacteria results in neurotoxin release and inflammation every single time. So if there is no Herx reaction, in my opinion, there is no antibiotic effect. At least that's the case in uh, the majority of situations. So just like balancing a bottle of supplements on your head, you want to have Herx reactions to get rid of the bacteria, but you don't want them to be too severe and you want to give your body a break. So this is Brian Rosner with Biomed Publishing Group. I'm a journalist, not a medical professional. And I hope that you learn how to um, basically perform the balancing act and get uh, down the road of your healing.